Hello and welcome to program 12 in this series of tutorials and programs from markplex.com. If you're not part of the email list then please go to markplex.com and I will be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. This is program 12 and program 12 uses candlestick patterns to uh, enter trades if they are confirmed by a user-defined filter or filters, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, user inputs will determine how many contracts or shares you buy and also the target levels and also the trailing stop level. And they are defined in the inputs as a multiple of the minimum move for the particular thing that you're trading. Uh, this line here shows the uh, the trailing stop and uh, you can turn that off apart from if you do turn it off it's still there for the for the current day so let's uh, go through the inputs and I'll just explain the various um, inputs and then I think that will go a long way to explaining this program so the first three length percent and factor they are inputs into the candlestick patterns and we're using um, trade station candlestick functions here some of which use or um, or they use these uh, these these inputs the adjustment this determines uh, you'll notice on the chart if we just go back to the chart for a moment that I put some little uh, letters here and there so um, if you read through uh, the program 12 description you'll find out what these what the key to these are but the the uh, the adjustment um, input that we just saw a few seconds ago determines where they're drawn on the chart now max after candle what this does is when a new candlestick pattern that you're looking for is determined we start counting and if a confirming filter occurs whilst or while uh, the counter is still under max after candle uh, under or equal then we will get into the trade and I'll show you the part of the program where the filters are set up in a few moments uh, contracts Okay, contracts is the number of shares or contracts traded. Trailing value, this is uh, set up as a multiple of the minimum move of the particular thing you're trading. Uh, ditto uh, target one and target two. And this number here will be the number of contracts or shares taken off at the first target. The remainder will be taken off at the second target. Show lines, if set to true, we see the uh, the trailing lines. And as I mentioned, except for the current day when you see them anywhere. Now, what is particularly good, I think, about this strategy is you have the option of using or not using a whole variety of different candlestick patterns. And uh, if you want to use them, for example, if you wanted to use three white soldiers, you would change this from zero to one and uh, and so on. Now, the real beauty of that is if we wish to uh, to do an optimization on this strategy, we could literally go and say, OK, I want to try if this works using specific patterns or not using specific patterns and what you would do is just go through and change the uh, click the optimize button and give it two options essentially zero and one with an increment of one so you could do that and then of course you could still do uh, you could for example change this length to see you know, try various different lengths and when you've done that you just press OK and uh, you'd then go ahead and uh, to do an optimization you'd here click the optimize button I'm not going to do that right now because what I want to show you is the other major thing about this uh, well, I did it anyway but I'll just abort that um, the other important thing about this particular strategy is we have some user-defined filters now uh, incidentally this program is downloadable for a nominal fee at markplex.com and uh, you do get the unprotected code which you will need because uh, in the filter section this is where you set up your own filters now I've built in a uh, a default filter which is just a stochastic and we're saying that uh, this is true if O slow K is less than 25 
for a potential long trade and uh, the short filter one is uh, the O slow K has got to be greater than 75 for a potential short trade. Now you could remove those, just set those to true so they don't have any effect whatsoever or you could build in your own filters doing something similar and I included within the uh, the code an example of here uh, for example how you could set up a, a filter using CCI or essentially you could set up a filter based on any uh, criteria you like you can make it for example just trade on on Mondays or uh, only trade during particular uh, particular weeks and so on so anyway that's something that you can set up as I say I have set up a default filter there which uh, which hopefully will get you started so uh, I think that is really all there is to say about the program so anyway hopefully this will be uh, be useful to you and uh, thank you for your attention